So guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in your credentials and once you're done with this click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue now just simply come on the task number two you don't have to perform the task number one just simply scroll down here and here you can see create a event art trigger so just copy this event arc just simply search over here and just open this thing okay now just simply scroll down and here you can see just copy this name click on this create trigger then click on this enable option and it will ask many times like please enable some kind of api so you have to just simply enable all the apis okay just wait and now just paste the name of your trigger like this okay now just simply scroll down copy this event provider and here you can see trigger type it's cloud source it's already mentioned okay now for the event provider just paste the name choose that okay scroll down now copy this name for your event search over here click over here okay now for the pop up topic copy this thing just simply search over here and choose that like this okay now just simply scroll down and for here event destination just choose a cloud function okay now here just simply click on this grant option and you are done okay just simply click on this create cloud function just wait for a second and then click on this save trigger button like this okay now for the function name just simply scroll down and from here just copy this function name make the changes over here like this now here you can see authentication here you have to just choose allow an authentication just choose this option just simply scroll down click on this down arrow and here you can see memory allocate just choose a 512 mb okay now for the timeout just copy this 540 make sure you do not copy any extra space otherwise you will face an error so just copy this make the changes over here like this and make sure all your configuration must look like this if it's so just simply click on next just wait and click on this enable button okay so it's done now for the runtime make sure that you have to just choose a python 3.10 okay make sure you have to just choose that okay now for the main.py just simply scroll down copy this command paste over here and make sure that your main.py file number of lines must be 23 okay now what we have to do we have to just change a api key and url so in description box i will share both the api key and url so just copy this thing very carefully okay make sure you do not copy any extra space otherwise you will face an error okay so just copy this let me just zoom in for you and here you can see api key so just select from here till here like this and paste i am again saying make sure you do not copy an extra space otherwise you won't get a score okay now for the url just copy very carefully do not copy an extra space just copy like this and from this paste select till this service like this and paste okay i hope you got my point you had to just do like this and once you're done with this just simply click on this requirement.js now here just simply come back to the lab instruction scroll down copy this thing make the changes over here like this and just simply click on deploy now just wait for this deployment get complete and once it's done we will done with the 90 percent of this lab
and it's finally done now please pay attention what you have to do just simply click on this cloud function and here you can see sensor data generator is just created now so just click over here and if you don't follow this step you won't get a score on the last task okay now here you can see now just simply click on this trigger and just click on this link like this okay now just go back to the live instruction click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and watch okay now just simply come on this task and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue do not worry about that sometime will have take time to update a score so no need to worry and as you can see after a couple of attempts i got a score the reason is it's take time over here okay and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you like the way i solve this lab please give one thumbs up and comment down below is this helpful for you or not thanks for watching and have a good day guys